At yan po mga kasambahay, ang action ng mga doctors natin sa Doctors in Action. This morning, we're still talking about HPV infections and cervical cancer. Kasama pa rin natin ang host ng Women's Health na si Dr. Stephanie Supa. It's such a relief no, na meron tayong magagawa to prevent cervical cancer. No, Gretsch? Kaya tayo dapat nagpapaschedule na ng vaccine. Oo nga eh. Ako, na-neglect ko yun. Isang beses na ako nagpa... Oo. Shotty, kailangan pala talaga. But before we discuss the vaccinations, no, meron akong hanging question kanina. We were talking, Gretchen was talking about yung pregnancy, yeah. pag meron kang cervical cancer. Doktora, in the event na halimbawa eh, isang babae ng buntis, kahit may cervical cancer siya, how safe is it for the baby? Um, yung baby naman, pwede pa rin mag-thrive, no? Although pagka late stages ng cancer, syempre, you have risks of preterm labor, mm -hmm. no? Or miscarriage. Pero once you're diagnosed, kalimbawa, kasi pagka uh, early pregnancy, kasama yung pap smear, no? Sa mga routine na check-up. Halimbawa, buntis na siya and noon ka naka-diagnose na may cervical cancer siya, expectant management lang talaga. Mm -hmm. Kasi we cannot do anything about the baby. Talagang hahayaan lang natin siya. Pero once the baby is delivered, doon, dire-diretso na kaagad dapat ang treatment, no? Mm -hmm. And if it's early, mukhang early stage, minsan diretso na uh, deliver the baby, tapos diretso opera. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll go back to the vaccine, no? So you said as early as 9 years old, pwede na magpa-vaccinate. Mm -hmm. Kasi the earlier you give the vaccine, the more effective it is. Kasi mm -hmm. syempre, mga 9, mga teens, wala pang sexual contact, no? So wala pang possibility na meron na sila. Kasi, kunyari, mga 30s, 40s mo na siya binigay, yung nakuha niya before the vaccine, andun na yon. You cannot prevent it anymore. So, the earlier you give it, the more effective it is. Doc, is it like, di ba, three, three vaccines ito, no? Mm -mm. Um, once lang ba yung tatlong yon Or every year, kailangan magpa-vaccinate ka ng tatlong? Mm -hmm. So far, the vaccines have been around for more than 10 years, no? And so far, wala pang need for a booster. Yung mga ah, studies nila show na mataas ang so, titers. So parang lifetime. So sa ngayon ah, ha. Mm -hmm. okay. Pero continuing, syempre continuing studies yan eh. Mm -hmm. Pinabantayan nila kung Depend bumababa yung mm -hmm. antibodies. Mm -hmm. Pero so far mataas pa rin. So no need for a booster after the three at okay. this point. And the vaccines will protect you against, against HPV 16 and 18 for the cervical cancer. How about the skin mm -hmm. infections? Will it also protect ah, you from the worst? Okay, so even if the vaccines contain two or four anti-HPV lang, they have cross-protection. Mm -hmm. So may effect din sila uh, doon sa mga iba pang subtypes of HPV. So kahit papano, napaprevent na rin niya yung ibang genital warts. And even though, for example, warts dito sa mm -hmm. other sides mm -hmm. of the body. Meron siyang protection pa rin. Tapos yun nga, as I said kanina, pati lalaki ha, pwede nang mag-anti-HPV vaccine. Okay. Kasi, uh, ang penile cancer, anal cancer, it's also associated with HPV infection. Oh. So, yung isang type ng vaccine, binibigay na rin namin sa mga males. Mm -hmm. And same dose? Three doses? Yes, yeah, same. Same regimen. Mm -hmm. Also, to prevent warts also in warts, males? Warts, yes. Mm -hmm. After the three shots, Gaano ka, ano ang interval, uh, ano, uh, ilang years bago tayo magpa-check ng antibodies? Mm -hmm. Sa ngayon, Mabilis eh, no? Kasi within a year, mataas ka agad yung antibodies. We don't really recommend anymore the screening ng antibodies. Pero yung screening for cervical cancer, which is pap smear, recommended pa rin yearly kahit na vaccinate ka na. Okay. Yeah, so, Miss Yas, kailangan mo talaga magpa-pap smear. Oo. Hindi lang, Vaccine, <laughs> hindi lang vaccination. Vaccine, saka pap smear. <laughs> Sabay na kami. Agad-agad na yun na. Masyado yata akong late, no? For, for vaccine. Oo, oh, it's, it's never too late. It's never too late. For, yes. For Kasi before... Kasi from 9 years old to my age. Oo. Oh, <laughs> wala namang actually limit, no? Walang mm. upper limit. Although, yung studies, they recommend hanggang 60 years old only because yung studies catered to the 9 to 60 year olds, okay. no? Pero if, kasi humahaba na ang lifespan ng mga, mm -hmm. ng mga tao ngayon, mm -hmm. no? So, meron ka ng mga 80, 90 year old women. So, kahit na 60 years old ka na and you still want the vaccine, okay lang. Kahit hindi ka na sexually Better active. Better to be safe, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never too late to get the yes, vaccine. Yes. Okay. But what if you already have the infection? Will the vaccine be of any use? Uh, if you already have the infection, depende kasi nga over 120 types yun, ano? So, ang, kung meron ka ng ibang types of HPV, tapos nagpa-vaccine ka, may protection pa rin siya dun sa mga HPV that you no, haven't acquired yet. Okay. Yes. 
Kasi mother, kahit sabihin mo may warts na ako, bakit pa mo papavaccinate? Mm-hmm. And then it's an infection. It can still protect you from the other sometimes. Yes. Oh, marami pala, no? More than a hundred. Mm-hmm. No, we've talked about yung kung ano yung prevention natin, no? Ano yung mga pwede naman natin gawing treatment if ever nagkaroon na nga tayo ng virus? Mm-hmm. So, yung mga sa ibang parts of the body, yun na nga, you can use ointments, may mga creams, no? That can treat mga early stages ng mga warts. Pagka naman malalaki na, Cotery, no? Same thing with genital warts. Ganun din. Pwede siyang lagyan ng mga creams. Tapos, if it's not effective or they're bigger already, pwede ka nang magpa-cotterize or excision. Okay? Tapos, ano, yearly monitoring talaga. Mm, do they have to drink anything? Mm, walang oral medications, eh. Sa so, pag-viral talaga, mahirap gamutin kasi. Mas mahirap. So, prevention are, talaga is the best mm-hmm. doctor for the warts. Prevention and then later on, uh-huh. early detection. Yes. Early detection for the cervical, for the cervical cancer. cancer. Mm-hmm. Yes. And mm-hmm. cervical cancer, treatment naman, surgery, mm-hmm. chemotherapy, chemotherapy, radiotherapy. radiotherapy. Mm-hmm. All the works. Oh, wag na natin paabutin no, sa cervical cancer kasi nga, number one, it can be prevented. Mm-hmm. Number two, may mga screening tests. no mm-hmm. Kaya parang very... Uh, prudent no sa atin na gawin yung mga early steps para hindi na siya aabot sa cervical cancer. Oh. Sige, sabay-sabay na tayo magpapavaccinate kay Doktor. <laughs> Kasi kailan ka babalik dito? Sa St. Luke's ko na tayo sa St. Luke's. Sa St. Luke's clinic na lang. Uh, uh, anytime, <laughs> yes. Pero kayo magpapavax near kayo. Ayun. <laughs> para sa mga kasambay po natin, Doc, naman curious no. Ano po yung range ng ano ng worth ng vaccination? Mm, right. Ang vaccines is usually price. around mga 2,000 pesos. Mm-hmm. Uh, per, mm-hmm. per, per injection, yes. So, of course, so of three, parang mga 6,000. Six six oh, and most ano, ha, companies ano, have, have, ha, offer mm-hmm. it, no? Yeah. Usually subsidized because they get it in bulk, it's cheaper. So, you inquire with your with your companies. Oh. And you have to go to your OBGYN mm-hmm. or can you just go to, for example, the health center and they'll, they'll be able to provide it for mm-hmm. you? I, I don't think, no, I've heard of any health centers yet which offer HPV vaccine kasi mm-hmm. at this point, parang medyo ma expensive pa siya. Pero, Yun nga, your some companies do offer it, pero and most of your gynecologists will have it in their clinics. Mm. Okay. Mm. Para safer na lang, pang quality din ng vaccine. Mm, Mas maganda sa mga OB, GYN. Thank you, thank you very much, Doktor. Huwag muna kayo alis, mga kasambahay, magbabalik pa po ang Doctors, Doctors on TV! TV.